Okay, friends. So today uh, we are going to explore AWS Cloud Formation. Uh, so we can see how we can explore with uh, with Labs hands-on labs. Um, so before that, let us see what is AWS Cloud Formation. AWS Cloud Formation is a kind of service where you can design your infrastructure. Okay. So there are a lot of benefits of uh, using AWS Cloud Formation. You can see the scaling up, consistency, security auditing and change management, everything. So let us see how to uh, start this cloud formation. I will go to the lab library. And uh, this is the beginner level uh, no, uh, thing. So I am going to give fundamentals. And now you can see introduction to Amazon cloud formation. So it was very easy to learn uh, cloud formation or any kind of technical topics you want to learn in cloud. Hands-on Labs is actually helping you a lot. Uh, no step-by-step -step guidance is always there. So now you can see here uh, what this Labs is all about. So I have uh, uh, 30 minutes to complete this lab session. So you can go through all the things um, in detail and how and what are the sections in AWS Cloud Formation, right? <clears throat> so now uh, you can also see the architecture diagram, how it actually works. And these are the task details, what we should do uh, throughout the cloud. Okay, so let me start with the start lab. I have a Vislab subscription, so I'm just clicking the start lab. So I'm just clicking it here now. So your cloud environment is getting created now. So you should wait a few seconds. So once it is created, yes, we are able to log into AWS. I'm just clicking the open console. We can just copy paste the username and password. Okay. Now you are able to log into AWS console. So wow. So now you can see the steps here. So what are the steps? So first I have sign in. Yeah, it was done. Open console. I added my username and password. Okay. Let me. Uh, explore task two. Okay, it's template in AS X3 bucket. So they're telling navigate to services menu and click S3 on storage section. So I'm going to services and uh, I'm just clicking S3 here. I can even search that. So now I'm able to click it uh, without any much time. Okay, so I can see some page here. We're still loading. Okay. Fine. So what is the next step? So you can see the bucket present with the name similar in case the bucket might be a different numerics. Yes. Open that bucket and you will see lamp template JSON file. Let me click this open. And uh, yes, that is a JSON file. Once I open this JSON file, what I have to do then? I have to Copy it. So I have to copy this object URL and save it in an notepad. I let me copy this and save it in a notepad. Okay, let me save it here. Okay, what else? So I copy it. And now it's time to create the cloud formation stack. Again, I have to go to services. And I have to search for cloud formation, the management and governance. So I just click the management governance and here it is, cloud formation. You can also search here as well. I tried that, so it works, but uh, we will go step-by-step step as it's structured in the labs. Okay, so now I just came inside this window. Now I have to click on create stack, right? So let me click this. Okay, and I have to choose the template is ready. This is the temp, uh, option how to select S3 request key and I have to specify the template source as S3 URL and how to paste this JSON URL where I have already copied. So it was Amazon S3 URL, template is ready and here I have to paste the file which I already took in Notepad. Okay, done. What else now? 
I have to click on next. Okay. Let me click next. Oh, now it is asking some staff names. I think we have to add some names. Oh, they have given. So specify the stack details, stack name. You have to enter unique stack name. I will put like uh, my first CF stack. That is good. And the DB name, database name will be on my database. It was already there. This lab DB123 is the password. Okay. And the database root password will be of root 123. Okay. And then database username. So just use very easy to learn actually. So how to instance type p 2 macro. Okay, it was already selected as P2P macro. This name is Islabs key, the SSS location of this thing, and I have to click the next. Right? I just click next. Okay, now I am into the next page. Um, ignore the following error, but I don't get any errors, so I am lucky. And configure the stack options. Uh, tag, I have to enter a name. Okay, I can put a name. Um, my name, I just add like this. And what is the value? I see it. Okay, it was actually name. Yeah. I see it. And then I'll finish default. I will click on next. Okay, let it go like this. I click in the next. I don't do much things. Okay, now somewhere I have to review and how to create stack. So these are the things what I have mentioned already. It was showing here. So let me click submit. Oh, now my create my stack has been created. I think in progress. What I have to do, you will see a status call create in progress. Yes, it was correct. And next I have to uh, wait around one to five minutes okay in order to get this stack resource created i have to wait for another one to five minutes okay after then i have to click the refresh button beside the new events available to see the updates okay that's good so i have to hit the refresh button here okay so let us see after one to five minutes what happens Okay, I think we waited for some time. Let me try clicking the refresh button here. Wow, amazing. Now it was created, I think so. So uh, after a few minutes, I think if you refresh, it was done. So now I have created something new in AWS, man. So I am a non-IT guy, um, but maybe like, you know, I'm not a, I never uh, learned cloud or anything else, but I can still access Hanson Labs. That's so cool. Okay, now what I have to do next, task four is testing. So navigate to the outputs. Oh, where is outputs? Yes, it's here. Oh, I there is a URL here. This will take to your server's home page. Okay, this is my server. Let me click this. Wow. So welcome to AWS Cloud Formation PHP sample. This is my server page. And if you see the database connection, it means you have completed LAMP server setup with AWS Cloud Formation. So it was success. Right, guys, these are very, very few tests. Okay. So we don't want to worry much. Okay. What now I have to do is um, I can directly go to validate button. So we have seen all the steps properly and we have executed as well in AWS Cloud. Let me click the validation test. So where is the validation button? It's here. Okay, and I click my validate my lab. It is checking whether I have executed all the tasks mentioned here. It's success. It means I have created a cloud formation stack properly, right? So that's it, guys. It was very easy. Any non-technical guys can even learn uh, the slabs and on labs. So there is not much difficulty. Everything's explained. So now I explore only on um, Amazon Cloud Formation. Okay, let me end this lab.
So you have a lot of lab library on many different uh, cloud technologies. It was so easy um, for you to explore. Okay, so we don't want to have much technical knowledge uh, before starting anything on AWS. So you can just go and learn what are the steps they have given. So learning all these labs is now it was few minutes. Like you know, I don't spend much time even. So um, it was so easy. I think you can try this labs, hands-on labs, it was so easy. Thank you guys. Let's see you in another video. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.